Hi everyone, welcome to the iMachines TV channel. The manufacturing process of reinforced concrete cylinder pipes starts by creating a welded steel cylinder from steel sheets, and steel joint rings are welded to both ends. A hydrostatic test is then performed to verify the strength and water tightness of the welds. Steel reinforcement cages are constructed using welded wire fabric or steel rods, which are then placed outside the steel cylinder. Inner and outer forms encase the cylinder and cages, and concrete is placed in the fore encasing the steel cylinder and cages. The pipe is placed in a cure cell for elevated temperature curing with steam. Once the concrete reaches the specified compressive strength, the pipe is ready to be shipped and placed into service. The manufacturing process of pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipe begins with steel sheet being used to create a welded steel cylinder. Steel joint rings are then welded to both ends of the cylinder, followed by a hydrostatic test to verify the strength and water tightness of the welds. The cylinder is then lined with concrete for lined cylinder pipe or embedded in concrete for embedded cylinder pipe. Next. Pre-stressing wire is attached to the exterior of the pipe at one end and wrapped under controlled tension and spacing from one end to the other as a cement slurry is applied. The pipe now wrapped with the pre-stressing wire is mounted on a revolver and rotated while a machine coats the exterior with the second application of cement slurry and the finished surface of mortar coating. Once the mortar cures, the pipe is ready to be shipped and placed into service. This manufacturing process results in a pipe with enhanced strength and durability, making it suitable for high-pressure applications such as water mains and sewage systems. Reinforced concrete pressure pipes are widely used for water transmission and distribution systems. The manufacturing process starts with the preparation of concrete using a mix of Portland cement, water, and aggregates. Steel reinforcement is added to the concrete to provide tensile strength, and the mix is poured into a mold with a shape that matches the desired pipe dimensions. The mold is then spun at a high speed to distribute the concrete evenly and compactly around the reinforcement. Once the pipe has been formed, it is cured in a moist environment to allow the concrete to reach its full strength. After curing, the pipe is cleaned and inspected for any defects or damage. The pipe ends are then finished, and any necessary joints or fittings are added. Finally, the pipe is tested to ensure it meets the required standards for strength and durability before being transported and installed in the field. Bar-wrapped concrete pressure pipe BWCP, is a type of concrete pressure pipe used for the conveyance of water under high pressure. It is made by first wrapping a cylindrical cage of steel bars with a continuous spiral of high strength wire. This wire wrapping helps to provide additional strength to the pipe. Next, a specially designed concrete mix is poured into the cage and allowed to set. After the concrete has set, the pipe is subjected to a high pressure steam cure, which accelerates the strength gain of the concrete. The final step involves applying a mortar coating to the exterior of the pipe to provide a smooth, uniform surface that helps to protect the pipe from corrosion and abrasion. The manufacturing process of BWCP requires specialized equipment and skilled personnel. It is a time-consuming and labor-intensive process, but the resulting pipe is strong, durable, and able to withstand high-pressure applications. BWCP is commonly used for water transmission mains, hydroelectric penstocks, and other high-pressure water conveyance applications.
The uncoiling step in pipe manufacturing is an important part of the process, as it prepares the hot rolled coil steel for further processing. The steel is tested for tensile properties and yield, and then slit to size based on the diameter of the pile to be produced. The slit coils are loaded onto the tube forming line and uncoiled, then joined end to end through a butt weld. Quality and material tracking is critical in this step, and the heat number of the steel used is permanently engraved in an ID stamp on the inside of the pipe for traceability. The steel strip is then shaped into a curve using forming rolls, and welded utilizing electric resistance welding, creating a continuous longitudinal weld with pinpoint accuracy. The welded pile then undergoes ultrasonic testing to confirm weld integrity and detect any internal flaws, and is cooled down gradually before being cut to size. The forming step involves flattening and joining steel coils to create a continuous sheet. This sheet is then shaped into a U-shape using rolling pins that bevel the edges until the pipe takes on its finished shape. The rolling presses gradually push the ends together, ensuring they line up evenly, and the strip edges are burnished clean to ensure a high-quality weld. Finally, the pipe is welded using electric resistance welding ERW, and undergoes ultrasonic testing to confirm its integrity before being cut to size. The welding step involves joining the two ends of a steel strip using a high-frequency electric current. This results in a solid-state weld, which is then passed through a series of rollers to shape it into a cylindrical pipe. The welded seam is then heat-treated to ensure its strength and durability, and the pipe is cut to the desired length. The final preparation step in pipe manufacturing involves inspecting the welded pipes for defects and ensuring they meet the required specifications. This step is crucial to ensure that the pipes are of high quality and will perform their intended function safely and efficiently. The welded pipes are subjected to various non-destructive testing methods, such as ultrasonic testing, radiography, and visual inspection, to detect any surface or internal defects. If any defects are found, they are marked, and necessary repairs are carried out. The pipes are also inspected for dimensional accuracy, including length, diameter, wall thickness, and ovality, to ensure they meet the required specifications. They are then cleaned and coated with a protective layer to prevent corrosion during transportation and storage. Quality assurance and traceability are critical aspects of pipe manufacturing. The pipes must meet specific quality standards to ensure they function correctly and last a long time. Quality assurance involves inspecting the pipes at various stages of production to identify defects and prevent them from reaching the customer. Traceability involves documenting the entire manufacturing process, including the raw materials used, the manufacturing steps, and the inspection results. This documentation allows the manufacturer to track each pipe's history and quickly identify any issues that arise. Both quality assurance and traceability ensure that the pipes produced are of the highest quality and meet customer requirements. Finally, the pipes are bundled, and relevant information, such as size, material, and heat number, is recorded for traceability. This information ensures that the pipes can be easily identified and traced in case of any issues during transportation, installation, or operation. Onshore pipeline construction is a complex process that requires careful planning, precise execution, and specialized equipment. CRC Evans is a company that specializes in pipeline construction and uses advanced automatic welding and coating technologies to construct pipelines. The following is a detailed overview of the stages of onshore pipeline construction by CRC Evans.
Pre-construction preparation. The pre-construction phase involves obtaining necessary permits, conducting surveys, and preparing the construction site. This includes clearing the land of any vegetation, removing any obstacles that may hinder the pipeline's construction, and leveling the ground. The construction site is then marked out according to the pipeline's design specifications. Pipe preparation. The pipe preparation stage involves preparing the pipes that will be used in the pipeline construction process. The pipes are usually manufactured in standard lengths and diameters. However, they may need to be cut to the required length and bent to the desired shape. The operator positions the pipe and makes the necessary bends using a bending machine. CRC Evans uses advanced technology to ensure that the bends are precise and accurate, which is essential for the pipeline's proper functioning. Pipe Laying Once the pipes are prepared, they are transported to the construction site, where they are laid in the trench that has been previously dug. The pipeline is usually laid in sections, with each section welded to the next. The pipes are set in place using specialized equipment such as hydraulic cranes and excavators. The pipes are then secured in place using supports and braces to prevent movement and ensure stability. Welding. Once the pipes are in place, the welding process begins. CRC Evans uses automatic welding technology, which ensures that high-quality welds are produced consistently. The automatic welding machine is controlled by a trained operator who ensures that each weld is of the required quality. The automatic welding process is faster and more efficient than traditional welding methods. This ensures that the welding process is completed quickly, reducing the time taken to complete the pipeline construction project. Coating. The finished weld is then coated to protect it from corrosion. The coating process involves applying a protective layer to the weld that prevents the pipe from corroding. Corrosion can lead to leaks and other pipeline failures, making coating a crucial stage in pipeline construction. The coating process is usually carried out in a coating shack, which contains the coating head. The coating head is lowered onto the weld, and an epoxy coating mixture is applied to the weld, ensuring that it is thoroughly covered. The coating head finishes the job in less than a minute, with no waste and no further steps required. This ensures that the coating process is completed quickly and efficiently, reducing the time taken to complete the pipeline construction project. 
Time to coat the weld. After coating, the crew retracts the coating head and moves to the next weld. This process is repeated until the entire pipeline is coated. The time taken to complete the coating process depends on the length of the pipeline and the number of welds that need to be coated. Testing and inspection. Once the pipeline construction is complete, the pipeline is thoroughly tested and inspected. This ensures that the pipeline is safe, reliable, and meets the required quality standards. The testing and inspection process involves checking for leaks, checking the pipeline's pressure, and conducting other tests to ensure that the pipeline is functioning correctly. Restoration and cleanup. Once the testing and inspection process is complete, the construction site is restored to its original condition. This includes filling in the trench, removing any equipment used in the construction process, and restoring the vegetation.